Hello everyone, uh, this is Cezanne from Nail Solutions and today I'm going to do overlays and also I'm going to give you some basic information about the thickness of the viscosity of the gels. There are two types of gels, generally hard gels and the soak off gels. Soak off gels that you can uh, soak off with the rubs or uh, stone balls easily, but hard gel only t uh, removes by filing it. It's a file of gel. This is the difference. Hard gel doesn't mean uh not a self leveling gel this is the uh using uh, of the hard gel it's all about the usage but in generally all gels have separating by the viscosity of their cells the self leveling gel is medium viscosity and as you see it is moving very quickly and generally they give this gel to the beginners but I'm not a fan of it for the beginners because this gel easily get the shape but you need to be practice enough to control your brush because this gel will move very quickly so in my opinion this is not, not a beginner friendly gel but this is a builder gel with a thick viscosity and as you see Whatever you done, it's not going to move around until you touch and push it. So this is a very thick viscosity gel. If you're a beginner, you can start it to using this ones because this ones you can even give half an hour for a nail just to practice your movements of your brush. Because if you control your brush very well with this gel after practicing, you can use this self-leveling gel like uh like a dream i don't know what we call it but it will be amazingly easy for you today i'm going to show you the self-leveling techniques and also if you um, really uh, curious about the hard gel i will going to upload another video and you can probably find the link below in the description so let's start it with this one <clears throat> My gel is curing in uh, 30 seconds in uh, thin layers and one minute in total thick layers. This is a very fastly curing gel. So if you're using essential nails one, leave it six minutes in lead or four minutes in LED. Okay, because it's not curing uh, very easily. So. After that, when you are filing off, you can file. Uh, you can uh, find yourself it's becoming sticky and coming the uncured gel inside. <sighs> okay, I'm going to make a close zoom view for yourselves. Yeah, it's nice. First, starting with the base coat, you can use either a different uh, separate base coat or you can use your gel builder gel. It's up to the gels species. If it's usable as a base coat, always use it, this one. And as you see, even it's a nail trainee, I'm very, very careful about the side walls and the cuticles. Your base coat is very important think about this is the first base structure of your building think about you're building a house and this is the most important part because if you do it very very nicely and crispy sorry crisp not crispy so vibrant okay uh, your next layers will follow this one if you swatch the base coat, the rest one is going to automatically smudge or go over to the sides and going to starting to touch your fingertips, side walls or cuticles. And always check before you put the machine. Now I'm just checking my cuticle side. Can you see from here to here? It's a very nice line. I'm going to cure this one. Cured my base coat. 
And I'm going to put a nice thin layer of gel again. And this one I'm not going to cure. So why I am adding this layer is going to be make the surface of the nail very sleepy. So as this is a soft leveling gel, it's going to move very easily. But I don't want my gel catch the points. I actually want my gel spread evenly. So if it's really sleepy, it will uh, my gel goes find a way to go everywhere evenly. So it is important. I put it in layers and I didn't cure it and I keep going with my uh, thick layer. Okay. I'm going to put, I'm going to take my first bit and I'm going to put it somewhere close to my cuticle area. Okay. And I'm going to so start to circle my gel and with the circling I'm pushing my gel to the cuticle area okay now it's close enough now after that I am making a smile line movement and help my gel to walk And it's walking with me very nicely. And now at that moment, I think I need more gel and I'm not going to cure this. And just like acrylic, I'm taking another bead and adding this one. And first I'm put my bit on the other uh, other gel my first bit and I'm going to blend them all together and after that I'm keeping my movements again the same sorry I'm watching myself from my camera so I can't see very well okay now I can see it. In the edge, I'm taking the edge to the free edge and capping it. And after that, I'm not adding the gel anymore. And I'm just checking my sides if they are nice, evenly, and there is no gaps. And I'm also checking this side too. And as you see, I didn't go close to the cuticle, but gel is going there. So always from the sides and from the cuticle, uh, leave a two millimeter gap. And because gel is going to move this side, even you don't drag it. So this is the maybe a very nice key about uh, applying these self-leveling gels. If you leave a little gap from the sides and from the cuticle, until you finish all the nail, they will start to spread and reach the point you want. Okay. So I'm going to show you how the self-leveling works. As you see, it looks very flat right at the moment and I'm going to take it upside down and wait a couple of uh, seconds to see where my gel is absolutely getting together and if needed I'm going to move my gel okay now I'm going to show you the same process from the side view <clears throat> for a closer look first I'm taking my first bit and putting this very close side to the cuticle and I'm circling and spreading it at the same time as soon as I convince that I'm close enough to cuticle I start to bring it here, bring it down 
with the smile I move but it's a small bit so I'm just needing extra bits I'm taking extra gel and blending it with my first bead with the circular movements and then I am pulling it down gently with the smile line moves and as you see from the sides I'm not going to the sides too much and I'm getting another bit okay again I'm blending it and with the circular movements why we are doing circular movements you know because when you try to do it with the vertical brush strokes you will make little valleys on it so it will be so hard to close it even it's self leveling you need to fix them and it will take your extra time so as you see it's moving here and what I'm doing is pulling this gel along this side and I'm not curious about the placement. This is a almost very really nice placement and what I'm next doing is turning this down and Take these fingers okay as you see all gel is getting together under it so all I need to do is um, move the fingers to be sure I'm having a nice apex and when I'm convinced to see this perfect apex I am turning it up and see my apex is still there and curing this layer okay I cured my builder layer and it's already there I have a very nice smooth and very natural apex and it doesn't look like eyebrow arch it's totally natural and all I need to do is just shape this up and keep going with the application with the um, gel polish or whatever you want okay I finished my filing I hope you like the video and give me a nice like and maybe if you like my other videos you can subscribe my channel and I'm really open to suggestions please comment below if you want any video for anything and if you have any questions about what I show or what I don't show in the video again please comment below I will try to be as responsive as and thank you for watching and i wish you the best tipping blending and overlay results guys have a nice day